the quotes, the summary screen that can render several records as a, in a tabular format. Let's now focus on rendering a particular record right, and fetching that record and displaying it here on the, on the form. Uh, so let's see. Let's, see, let's, uh, let's go to our, uh, our, um, our details. Our details page is, is currently very simple. Uh, a, a lot of, the, a lot of uh, what the details is going to do is very similar to what the, the other one, the, um, the, the summary does, right? We still going to, we, 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 we are also going to have to use the same service, right? Uh, we're also going to have to instantiate and get a hold of the instance of the service in our constructor. So I'm just going to copy that. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's also going to have to, remember that one of the things that we want to render here is a dropdown of all the IDs uh, of the quotes so that we can select a particular one so that we can go fetch that particular record. Yes? Right? Uh, so that part is actually identical to what we just did. Okay? Uh, so let's see. We, we still want to do a, a, a component did mount like before. Right? And uh, there it is. So because we want to fetch all the quotes, we want to, because we want to render all those quotes as a dropdown. Right? So let's do that. Now that we fetch all, all the... Um, all these uh, uh, quotes. Let's uh, let's render it as a dropdown. So here we have maybe a select. And then and then basically what we want to do is is iterate over all those all those quotes, right? And display them as different options from where you can then select whatever whatever wh which one do you want to render. So we're going to iterate over the quotes, right? same, same way we iterated in the previous example. So state, this.state.quotes.map, and these are the quotes. But instead, instead of rendering as tables, we're going to render them as options. Right? And the, the, the text that we want to show here is, the, is what? These the uh, quotes, and then the job description, job description. Uh, and maybe also we want to render the ID right next to it, or the ID maybe maybe uh, in a, a parentheses or something, right? Uh, let's see. All right, so if we go here and go to details, notice that indeed we have a dropdown, right, where we can perhaps select one of them, and as we let go, go and fetch that particular record with all the details of that record, right, and then display them in different fields uh, below it. Okay. Uh, so now we um, one of the things that we need to we need, we need to consider is that is that we want to we want to see what the value that you actually selected, right? So let's uh, let's create here a uh, a function that we can call to notify that you have selected uh, so, uh, select a um, a quote, right? And we're going to pass a quote object here. Well, actually, no, the ID of the quote that you that you selected. Right, and then we're going to do an alert, maybe alert, alert the quote ID. Right. So as as we as we as we change the selection of this dropdown, we want to you know on change, we want to call this dot. Oops. Here, uh, this dot on change. Oh, sorry, on change. This dot select quote. Uh, we want to pass. We're going to take the the event that uh, trigger this on change, and we want to grab a hold of the target object. In this case, it's the dropdown. And we want to grab the value of that dropdown, right? As we let it go, and then pass it around, and then it'll display here as an alert. Let's see if that actually happens. Uh, quote details. We select these, right? It doesn't update, and notice that it's it's displaying the text, not the actual ID. Yes, right. So 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 a better solution might be that uh, the actual value of each one of these elements will be the quote quote dot ID. Oh, did I say quotes here? This should be singular. The quote. There we go. Well, let's try that again. Okay, there we go. We have the two. 
or we have the one here. Okay? Um, all right, excellent. So we have that. What we would like to be able to do here, now that we have the actual ID, we can go and fetch the, uh, the, the particular quote now that we have the ID, right? We can just use uh, the, the service with the find, find by ID, which I don't know that, that we implemented it. In quote service, we would have something similar here. And we would have, you know, find something like, you know, quote, quote by ID. And we pass as an argument, quote ID. And we, would, we can then concatenate it at the end of this as quote ID. There we go, uh, and then, and then from your from the from the quote details, do the fetch here. We can say this dot service dot oops service dot find quote quote by ID quote by ID and pass the quote ID, right? And when it comes back, this will be the actual quote, right? And uh, and then we can say um, uh, this dot set state, and then the quote will be the actual quote. And we'll need a state here to keep track of this quote as an empty object. And then for now, we're just gonna to keep it simple. We're just gonna render the quote and then the job description here. This will be the selected quote. Right, the selected quote. Uh, quote is not defined. Um, line 40. Quote, oh. Quote, oh, sorry. This dot state dot quote. All right, so let's see if we say quote details and select two. Notice that indeed it is retrieving it and then displaying it. Obviously, we would display it prettier, you know, in an input field or whatever, right? There you go. All right.